Do, 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 do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's lesson is brought to you by the word bloop. And like all great lessons or journeys, we have to start somewhere, so might as well start at the word bloop. Bloop. All right, distance versus displacement. Now, distance and displacement are like two very similar things that aren't similar, but sort of similar at the same time. And it's kind of like oranges and tangerines. Oranges are orange and tangerines are also orange and they're both fruit and citrusy and delicious, but then at the same time, they're not the same thing. And so often people call oranges tangerines and tangerines oranges and no one's a happy camper in the citrus family. So let's go. The best way to describe any situation is to start off with an example. So let's take an example, in this case, the, the track. My question to you is, what is the distance that you have traveled if you ran around one complete lap around a 400 meter track? Are you ready? Let's get thinking. Get set and go! And you, the gun goes up and you run, 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 and you find out that you ran for a total of 400 meters around the track and you burned about 50 calories. Go you. Did you figure that out? If it did, good. I mean, obvious right if the track was a 400 meter track and one lap is 400 meters and you ran around it once well obviously you ran 400 meters but if we take a look at the same situation but we replace the word distance with the word displacement do we get the same results hmm so my question to you is if you start and you end the 400 meter run around the track at the same exact spot, for example, if you start at the starting line and you end at the finishing line, which both happen to be the same very line, then what is your total displacement? All right. Are you ready? Get set. Go and you run around the track really, really, really fast, and you find out at the end. I tell you that your total displacement was a big fat zero meters. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the displacement was zero, and this can be a little bit confusing if you're paying attention. How can one thing be 400 meters and the other thing zero meters? So let's take a look at the numbers. If your total distance was 400 meters, but your total displacement was zero meters, then what does that exactly mean? Well, distance is the total distance that you travel, the total amount that you traveled, whereas displacement is the distance between your start and your finish. So in the case of the 400 meter track, when you run it around once, your total distance is 400 meters, but your displacement is zero because if you start and you end in the same exact location, then you there is no difference between your start and your end because you started where you ended and you ended where you started. So you got nowhere. Think of it like this. If your friend was at the starting line and you know they say ready set go and when they say go they faint and they collapse on the floor and the very last image that they see is of you at the starting line and then after you finish your 400 meter run as soon as they finish and as soon as you stop they be, you know they come back and they're awake and they see you at the finish line in their heads they didn't see you run around the track you're exactly where you started and you ended exactly where you started when they fainted and when they came back. So to them, you got nowhere. So the displacement is zero. Whoa! So if we think about this, you can apply this to a lot of different things. And this is some harsh reality pondering. If you're, if you're in the mood to kind of think about something, this, this is the thing to think about. Right, when you are born, you are you know say you're born in a hospital. You are born in room two o one, okay. And then you go through your life, and then you do great things, and you make a lot of money, and then you I'm sorry, but you eventually you you die. All right, unless you die in 
the very same room of 201. If that were the case, here's the harsh pondering reality thought. You got nowhere in life. Your total displacement was zero because you started your life in room 201 and then you life ended in room 201. So your total displacement was a big fat zero. So my lesson for that is don't die in the same room that you were born. Let's take a look at some physics stuff. Distance, the variable for distance is D. That's easy to remember because distance starts with a capital D, but we use the lowercase d to represent distance. We can put any sort of numbers in there, such as 40, 50, or 400. Displacement on your hand is a little bit more complicated. Displacement is um, written down as delta x, or what you see as triangle x. That triangle means delta, also known as change, also known as final minus initial. So the equation becomes displacement or delta x is equal to xf minus x0 or x sub f and x sub 0. Okay. Now what that equation is basically saying is you take your final position and you subtract it from your initial position and whatever that number is, is your displacement. So if we were to use our track Example, if our starting point was at zero meters and our ending position was, well, technically zero meters, then our total displacement is a big fat zero. Okay, now uh, I'm about to do a very bad impression of a Jamaican man, and so if you are offended, please tell me. I am, I'm horribly sorry, but this is one way of memorizing displacement. <clears throat> So let's say we have we have a guy. This is my Jamaican. This is this is my my friend Bob, and this is uh, his Jamaican friend Joe. One day, Bob wants to know where Joe is. So Bob asked, "Hey Joe, where are you?" And then Joe goes, "I I'm here, man." And then Bob goes, "Where where are you?" And then he goes, I'm here, man. And he's like, how far are you from me? And he's like, 10 meters away, man. And he's like, where? And he goes, this place, man. Uh, that was a lot worse than I thought it would be. Anyways, that concludes our lesson. And just like I said in the beginning, this lesson was brought to you by the word bloop. And we are ending with the word bloop. So the total displacement for this lesson is zero. <laughs>